Welcome to the moon. Here's your useful information for this week. The moon's temperature ranges anywhere from negative 279 Fahrenheit at night to 260 Fahrenheit during the afternoon. And people on Earth always see the same side of the moon. That is where the saying comes from, the dark side of the moon. Because people think that... Holy family, we have a problem. Ground control, Major Elliot, are you there? We need to return to Earth. Roger, we'll be up there right away. Okay, so just hurry up. Welcome to what was, is, and will be here at Holy Family Parish. I'm Beth Webster, news anchor and secretary. A few years ago, Father Peter started a little group called Cigars and Stories. Typically in the warmer months, they meet around the fire pit, but when it's a little bit chillier during the spring and fall, they meet on the back of the porch of the rectory. Due to COVID, they had to stop doing Cigars and Stories, but now they are back up in session. Just last week, they had their first meeting since COVID broke out. Now, in order to come to Cigars and Stories, you must be a Catholic man. And you must not be afraid to tell stories about yourself or others. The funnier, the better. The next Cigars and Stories will take place on July 21st. <laughs> and they'll probably meet around the back porch of the rectory because it might not be as warm. Although July is a warmer month, so you probably can meet around the fire pit. Just look for the sign that says where to go. Moving on. Recently, we celebrated Corpus Christi and we had our annual procession. We have done these for the past six years or so. So what we did is we took the Blessed Sacrament and about 60 of our parishioners and we walked about three-fourths of a mile around town bringing Jesus out to the world. We want to say thank you to everybody who played a special part in this day where you had a special job to do. We also want to say thank you to all those who came out and walked the whole time or just participated in the event. We also want to give a huge thank you to Rick Thompson for taking time out and cooking a wonderful breakfast for us when we were all done with the walk. Let's go to a clip to see about this wonderful experience. Today we celebrate the Feast of Corpus Christi, the body and blood of Jesus Christ. We as Catholics, believe in the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. And so during this day, we celebrate with Mass with our pastor, Father Peter, and then we do a procession. And we do a procession around town to show our faith and to show that we believe in the real presence of Jesus Christ. It's an honor to walk with the Lord, to uh, process with the Lord on Corpus Christi, yeah. to show our strength and support, not only as a Catholic church community, but also the town of Springfield to, uh, you know, let folks see how, how we're all committed. I actually came in from out of town this morning. I drove an hour and a half to come back to town just to be in this procession. The community uh, of worshipers just fills my heart with joy um, and, and being asked to do the rosary, which I am not someone who prays the rosary. I need to pray the rosary. Um, it, it was a bit of a challenge to me and a gift and having Donna beside me helping me the whole way was another gift. It just makes me feel loved, it makes me feel wanted um, and it, it just renews my belief in people and always, always strengthens uh, my faith in the Lord God. It is incredible to think that we have the real presence of Jesus Christ with us and to be able to adore him, to give thanks in this way, it's really a, a glorious thing to behold for our Lord. As you could see from the clip, we had some people describe what they felt that day or why they chose to do it. One of our parishioners, however, Miss Beverly Crowley, decided to remain silent. So if you would like to hear Bev's thoughts on this matter or other matters, please tune in next time to hear all of Bev's thoughts, feelings, loves, and concerns on matters. Also, if you missed our procession this year, don't worry, you only have 365 days left to wait for the next one. So now it's time for everybody's favorite part, church etiquette. So this week's church etiquette is confessions. Now, church says that you should at least go to confession once a year. 
Now, if you're like me, your bum should be in confession at least once a month. Confession times are as follows. Saturdays at 3 to 3.30 in Chester at St. Joseph's and Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. at St. Mary's in Springfields. Never a problem in Chester. However, at St. Mary's, we ask that if you are going to confession or you are staying for the hour adoration after mass, please do not sit in the last five or six rows in the back of the church. Be respectful of those people who have a hard time whispering because you can hear everything when they are giving their confession, which is none of your business. So if you could, the church is big enough, there's plenty of room, please sit in another seat. Do not make me do any more work than I need to. I do not want to have to come in and put the little cords up so you don't sit there. Just don't sit there. Last five or six rows, no bums attend. And now I have a question for you. Are you good at recognizing people when they were younger? Well, it's time to put those skills to the test. Here is a picture right now of someone you see all the time, every day. Do you know who this person is? Can you guess? Does she look even remotely familiar to you? Tune in next time to find out who this person is. Elliot, Elliot, come in. Are you there, Elliot? I guess we're just gonna have to go on without him. Welcome back to the moon, Secretary Tip Gospel of F. Don't worry about making waves just by being yourself. The moon does it all the time. Elliot, Elliot, where are you?